What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I want to thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey and whiskey type related stuff, please consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Weller Antique 107. W.L. Weller is a weeded bourbon originally created by the Stitzel Weller Distilling Company. The brand is named after William LaRue Weller, who is credited by some as being the first distiller to use wheat as a secondary grain instead of the more commonly used rye. The Weller Antique 107 is part of the ever-growing Weller lineup. They used to just consist of the Special Reserve, Antique 107, and 12 Year. New additions to the Weller lineup are Craft Your Perfect Bourbon, introduced in 2018, the Weller Full Proof, introduced in 2019, and a label that was just recently approved by the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau for a Weller single barrel. The Weller Antique 107 is distilled at Buffalo Trace Distillery. It has an undisclosed mash bill and is non-age stated, but is thought to be between six and eight years old. It has an ABV of 53.5%, 107 proof with an MSRP of around $45 to $50. Let's check out the bottle for a second. The bottling on this one, guys, is your typical Weller bottling, just a little bit different colors and, and labeling. And it, of course, it says Antique 107 on it. Right here on the front of the bottle, of course, we have Weller, the signature W for Weller right here on top. And across the bottom right here, it says Antique 107. On the back of the bottle, a little bit of a backstory about William LaRue Weller, the W right here for Weller also. The neck bulge and the stem, right here none of that's changed the bottle still tapers off at the bottom and this does have a screw top i do know that the new bottlings have corks this is an older bottling it does have a w on top of the cap right here across the stem of the neck also it does say weller pretty much your standard weller bottling just changed up a little bit in the color of the label and of course it says Antique 107 on the bottling. With that being said, let's get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. Let's check out the color. The color on this one, guys, is a nice dark copper. I am gonna coat the glass just to see how viscous and oily the whiskey is. See how well it's clinging to the glass. And as you can see, I hope you guys can see that, it is coating the glass very well, kind of painting the sides of the glass. Got nice, thick, long running legs, slow running legs, very nice viscosity on the whiskey, coating the glass very well, beautiful color. With that being said, let's get into the nose. Right away on the nose, I'm getting a nice inviting fruity aspect. Nice rich cherry note. Some freshly cut green apples. It's like a tarty green apple. Some caramel and some brown sugar. Maybe a hint of vanilla. And there's also some barrel spice and oak on the nose. It is very inviting and 107 proof. There's really no ethanol at all on the nose. And it is a rich and dense nose to the whiskey. Very inviting. Definitely get the freshly cut green apples, that tardy apple, a nice cherry note, some brown sugar and caramel, a little bit of barrel spice and oak. Definitely a very inviting and approachable nose that is dense and rich. It has a little bit of complexity to it, it's just a beautiful nose of the whiskey. Really enjoying the nosing. Once again, I'm getting a nice tarty apple, a freshly cut green apple, a nice dense cherry note, some brown sugars and caramels, a little bit barrel spice and a nice oak note that complement each other very well. It's a nice dense and rich nose with a little ethanol on the nose at all. Beautiful nose on the whiskey. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Mm. 
Nice, full-bodied and oily whiskey. Front of the palate, I did pick up a little bit of that green apple, tarty green apple and dense cherry note on the first sip. It is finishing off in a nice spicy vanilla caramel barrel note. Very nice, full-bodied and oily whiskey coating the palate very well. And I would say the finish is middle of the row, leaning towards the long side of things on the first sip. Very nice first sip. Let's go in for a second. Cheers, guys. Very nice, viscous, oily whiskey that's coating the mouth very well. Nice, full bodied. Finish is definitely still going. On the front of the palate at that time, I got a tarty green apple and dense cherry note. Mid palate, picked up a little bit of a Della. It's kind of finishing off in this caramel barrel spice oaky note. I'm not picking up too much brown sugar, just maybe a little bit which I did on the nose. I picked up a little brown sugar on the nose, not getting that as much on the palate, but this is a nice full bodied and rich, dense whiskey on the second sip. Very enjoyable second sip, guys. Let's go in for a third. Cheers. Very nice, very, very nice. Front of the palate, you're getting a nice, tarty green apple, followed up by this dense cherry note, like a dark maraschino cherry note. Mid palate, you're picking up a little bit of vanilla, followed off with some barrel spice and caramel, and it's finishing off in a nice caramel, spicy oak note. The finish is leaning towards the long side of things, definitely middle of the row. And the mouthfeel is very nice. Got a nice oily and viscous mouthfeel. You can almost chew on it. Nice full bodied whiskey that is very approachable for 107 proof. Very nice pour. Let's get into my final thoughts. Guys, my final thoughts on the Weller Antique 107. It's a good solid pour of whiskey for MSRP. 45 to 50 bucks, a good solid purchase. Do I recommend going out and paying the astronomical secondary pricing on this? Probably not. And unless you're just really dying to try it, you're probably going to be disappointed if you pay some of the ridiculous secondary price in this bottle. I just looked before I shot this video and I seen this bottle going up to 200, 250 on the secondary market. It's just not worth that. But if you could find it for the 45 to even $60 price tag, I would say pull the trigger and you will not be disappointed. It's a good, solid, rich and dense whiskey, nice mouthfeel that does offer a little bit of complexity and has a nice middle of the row to long finish. It's a good, solid pour. It is a highly allocated bottle, very sought after. And I think Buffalo Trace has a very good way. Even their flagship whiskey, Buffalo Trace Bourbon, it's not available everywhere. People have a hard try time trying to find it, and I think that's what makes a lot of their products just so sought after because you can't get them. But if you can find this for the $45 to $60 price range, it's definitely a good solid buy at that price. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. I thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, once again, I want to thank you for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you like what I'm doing, hey guys, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers. <laughs>